Hey everybody, welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. Today we're in the shop and we got the Case International Maxim 5140 here behind me. I've been having trouble with the clutch uh, sticking and not returning. So today we're gonna go over uh, some simple things that you can look for uh, if your clutch is sticking on one of these tractors. So as I said, Case International 5140, a lot of these models have all the same components, uh, 5130, 5240, a lot of the stuff is, is similar. Um, so I do apologize because I, for some reason, the footage of the actual repair got lost. So I'm just gonna kind of walk you through what I did and um, you can do it uh, if you need to on your tractor. So, Again, uh, the issue that I was having, and it started uh, over the summer, uh, it is uh, winter time now. So this, uh, the clutch would, uh, you'd push it down and it would not want to return correctly. Uh, sometimes it would stick a little bit and then pop up. Uh, and then when the cold weather came, you actually had to, until you worked the clutch a whole bunch of times, you actually had to bend over and kind of pull the clutch up gently to get the tractor to move. So it was getting worse as time went on and it was getting frustrating. So um, all summer long when that was happening, there is a side panel here by your console. If you pop that off, um, you can see right here, Hang on one second. Okay, that's better. There we go. So, uh, you know, here's your clutch, and here's the clutch cable. Uh, it goes up, it pivots in here, uh, but here is the end of the clutch cable that goes down to the transmission. So, what I was doing uh, up underneath here, again, you can't really quite see very well up in there, but what I started doing when it started sticking was uh, I got uh, this and I had one other product but uh, it says apply to chain or wire cable. I had another one that was a cable lubricant too. This was one of them, but I kept uh, spraying stuff at where the, up in here where the end of the cable was exposed, hoping it would kind of run down in. And uh, you know, if for whatever reason there's a little rust or something was snagging a bit, I was hoping I'll work um, some of the lubricant down in there and see if that would loosen up the pedal. Uh, I also, uh, and I can't really show you, but where the pedal pivots up there, I lubricated that as well. Uh, those are some basic things you can start with if your clutch pedal starts sticking. So uh, the other thing, we'll go to the back of the tractor here. Okay, so right here is where the end of the clutch cable comes in and it pivots on a mechanism here, you can see a spring uh, right there as well. Um, and uh, this is where the clutch cable comes and pivots. So I had been lubricating the cable and the pivot point and things uh, here as well, uh, over and over, and uh, hoping that eventually, you know, using some PB Blaster and things, uh, just to see if that connection here where that bolt is and where everything pivots uh, just to see if that was you know getting some rust on it or something so i did that all summer and unfortunately uh you know it didn't it didn't solve the problem uh, again it got worse as as time went on so um was kind of thinking that the clutch cable just had gone bad got rusty got kinked something happened to it whatever and was going to replace the clutch cable but uh, after taking this mechanism here apart you can see the like the, the top of that bolt there there's a, a longer pin that goes down in there uh, the footage I lost and um, that's what uh, these assemblies pivot on and previously uh, you know I'm not the first owner of this tractor it's a 1990 I am the second owner of the tractor but uh, previously, uh, somebody had an issue and they took this apart and they put some anti-seize on there, on that pin. And what had happened, that anti-seize almost um, solidified in there 
It was very hard to clean up, very hard to get off. Uh, cleaned all of that up, uh, lubricated it uh, with some grease and put everything back together and it works beautifully now. So that is another area that you can check. Um, putting PB Blaster and things on this area. The pin is, uh, what was it? It was about two and a half, three inches long and it was very much encased in those pivoting mechanisms. So the PB Blaster had very, very little area to try and penetrate down in there and that may be one reason it wasn't working. The pin is just too encased and you can't get a fluid down in there. So by taking it apart and cleaning everything up and putting it back together, it allows things to pivot uh, as they should. So that would be the next thing that I would look at. Uh, clean all that up, take it apart, clean it all up, and then put it back together and uh, see how your clutch works. So obviously if that doesn't solve the problem, uh, you've tried to lubricate things at both ends, cleaned everything up, then at that point, uh, it most likely is your clutch cable and you'd have to replace that. Um, on these tractors, it's, a, it's not a, sorry, tripping on the extension cord. It's not a super easy job. Um, it runs way back down around in, um, so, you know, not that it's impossible, but I would start with all these other things first uh, and, uh, you know, save the clutch cable as a last resort. So now once again, we come to our clutch and it springs back nice and easy. It's hard to do while I'm standing here on the ground. Um, so that's just a little bit about the uh, clutch cable repair and the sticking clutch on this tractor. Again, I'm sorry, I don't have that footage to show you, but it was just a, a pin that had two mechanisms that pivot on it and cleaned everything up, which I showed you there. So, um, you know, you can kind of figure that out for yourself. It's not too difficult, but I wanted to provide the information so that you had a few different steps. Uh, again, if you have an issue with one of these tractors and the clutch sticking, you sort of have uh, a list of things that you can do to try to make the situation better before you spend the money on the cable. I don't remember how much it was. I priced one out, I think it was 200 and some dollars maybe. I can't remember exactly what it was, but uh, you know, as a last resort. But hopefully this information will be helpful to you uh, in case you have this issue. Uh, any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I got a lot of great shop videos coming up. Uh, our brand new excavator, nine hours on it, lost some, had a power loss, and we're going to look at that and see if we can figure that out. We have some welding videos coming up. Uh, I got some new tools too, so stay tuned to see those. Um, got some cool stuff for the shop here. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you don't miss those upcoming videos. And uh, hey, thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next video.